There are disturbing new revelations tonight that the Claremont killer left a twisted trophy at the grave of one of his victims years after she died. A book on the killings released today claims police even set up an elaborate cemetery sting to catch him. He's the killer who stopped, but it seems Bradley Edwards' twisted obsessions didn't let up, taking him to the grave of one of his victims. It's a sickness of mind that, you know, we can't comprehend. The extraordinary revelations detailed in a new book by Post newspapers editor Brett Christian, claiming the Claremont killer went to Kira Glennon's grave three and a half years after taking her life, leaving behind the 27-year-old's underwear later discovered by a member of her grieving family. The clothing that was left on the grave uh, had uh, Kira Glennon's initials on it in her handwriting and that it had her DNA and the DNA of at least one male. Brett Christian has spent two decades covering the murders that paralysed Perth, now spilling the secrets of Australia's longest-running manhunt. The book also reveals how detectives then set up a graveyard trap and waited for the killer to return. But once again, Bradley Edwards slipped straight through their fingers. Incredibly lucky. He must have felt bulletproof, you know, because... He could do all these things and never got caught. Also uncovered more details of Edward's deviant past, including lewd acts in public as a teenager. More than 20 other attacks possibly linked to the Telstra technician and the missed clues that could have led police to their man. Bits and pieces right from the beginning, but they discarded that because they focused on the wrong suspects. Louise Rennie, Nine News.